Hey guys, welcome back to another robot ratings video. And before the video actually starts, I kind of want to mention one thing that I covered uh, that I talked about last video, which was that we're going to be moving a lot of this robot ratings stuff to a second channel. And this will be kind of be taken over by co hosts. So then we have a new application that's kind of, I sent out a new application. Uh, as you can see here in my, my server, uh, if you want to join, and you can apply for this role you can apply for the sorry you can apply for the co-host row and um you can upload videos if you accept it to this one so that's pretty cool so if you ever wish to kind of like um make your name more known in the robotics community and uh whatsoever like that then you can kind of apply for that and you can record videos anyways and also you'll be paid part of the cut once once the mon channel is monetized uh, so I'll leave the channel link to in the description if you want to go subscribe to that. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, let's get started. Ben from one one eight one one a guys, thanks guys. First video is before second and third are new. No anti jam yet. So here's kind of the the intake. I guess we get to see a bit of the the intaking there. Maybe more of the driving. Okay, nice. They drive as well. Pretty easy lineup. And very nice scoring. I think this kind of bring kind of reminds me of the S-shaped robot. And this is using conveyors. I think it's a little heavy. It looks a bit heavy. The the intake looks not super wide. It looks like you need some pre pre precision to to do the intaking of the the blocks here. And I don't know how I feel about the the overall time it takes for it to kind of go through the whole intake. I think it's a little bit long, but the the good thing is it can score a lot, and you can kind of score. It can, it can store a lot of blocks and you can kind of uh, unload all of them at once. But also, once again, I do think still the basket design is a bit better because uh, in that design, although your chamber doesn't have many balls, if you want, you can store the balls into the actual holding area. And through that, you can make a trap door that opens to release the balls either way. So I think that actually might be, might be better. And well, actually, no, not my. I actually do think that's better. And here we have another video of it scoring, and it's solid. It's not 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 like super fast, not really slow either. But once again, I think that time it takes for it to kind of go through the whole S shape configuration there is enough for someone to push you off and kind of just play effective defense on you, which I think you know could be a problem. But once again, I think if you have if if it's used right, it can totally. Totally score a lot at the same time. Score a whole tube, I'm sure it can. But here you can see it jamming as well. It's just so much space it has to go through, right? So many curves and tight turns. All these are kind of a U turns here. Kind of these blocks have to go through, which is a lot, which I think also is slowing it down. I'm going to give this one an A tier overall. Pretty, pretty uh, unconventional design, honestly. I think I like it. I think it's decent. I think it's, you know, and this is exactly, and the next one is what I, what I was talking about before. This is the design that I think a lot of teams will go for. Is this really, really quick. You know, so how fast this scoring is super, super quick, quick going from the actual intaking portion to out and done. And yeah, and if you want, you can have a have a basket at the back there for your your blocks to sit in. And you can just kind of just out take them or intake them back into the intake and then shoot them back out the top if you wish. And I think some teams have done that already. I made this one an A tier as well, you know, it's solid. Uh, got motors and a brain. All right, let's take a look. It's pretty fast. It's actually really fast. But also, uh, like, I mean, it looks a little jank. Of course, it's like very, very not finished. Uh, they went for a a connected like a shaft on the bottom. I know some teams are are switching to screws now. I mean, shafts pretty good still. What's this? Oh, this is standoffs. I think these are standoffs. Purple standoffs. Pretty cool. What's in the middle here? Is that a shaft or what? No. What what is this? It's like a just a a white. Is that a shaft? It might, might be a shaft. I don't know. But interesting. I think this is a six wide here. A little bit a little bit wide, but it's all right. And I mean, and. I mean, it's just going through design. I think it's pretty nice. I like the color scheme as well. I'm going to give this one an A tier as well. And moving on, USA. We got the American flag in, in blocks. That's cool. For 4th of July, S tier. We're going to skip the drivetrain. We're going to do this one now. Full, for first, full mech CAD. 
Uh, get feedback, please. All right. So this is a two sides. Okay, first of all, I don't, I, don't like, I don't like it being two sides. I think that adds a lot of unnecessary, like, unnecessarily complicates the driving experience for the driver, especially want to make it really easy for the driver to kind of handle and drive. We're not easy in the fact, but you want to make it intuitive to drive so they can kind of, they don't, they're, they're not like held back by the robot in any way. And I feel like if you're doing front to back or like front to front plus a front to back, then it really screws with the, the driver, especially if it's not like a super experienced driver and they're just getting into it and you're making them drive like, like you're you're coaching them and they kind of get scared and then like oh you're going to the to the, to the high the, the side uh side goals and now you have to score higher you have to turn around scoring then now you have to rush to the middle one and score that one you got to go forward for that one like it's just all sorts of inconvenience of the driver i think you want to really want to learn how to kind of cut the amount of um difficulties the drivers have to go through to score and make a good plays uh so yeah here your motor's sticking out i mean there's nothing you can do about it there's nothing you can do about it uh i would put a back back brace here through wide whatever right put a piece here that connects the back um and i don't think you have any cross brace that's crazy i don't see any at least maybe there is I don't see any cross braces. You need cross braces. So I'm on the front, one on the back. The front one can go on the bottom, but it has to go across the whole drivetrain. Anyways, uh, this one's getting a, a C tier. All right, cats on no take down. Haven't fished in years. Just went out with a friend today and yesterday. Big haul, I'd say. Um, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good haul, I think. This is a kind of fish is this. Where, where'd you go fishing? That's pretty cool. I think I was a one nice haul. And in your CAD, I'm not going to read the CAD, to be honest. It's kind of boring. I'm just going to just, I mean, the fish is pretty cool. S tier. Guys, from where drivers meta, I swear. Also, by the way, I've already found some really good, like, recorder applications who've, who's applied. So, to be honest, if you if you submit an application, please record a video and submit it. I think you guys are doing amazing. I already found one that I am going to accept to start recording. Guys, four-motor drive is meta, I swear. This is a four-motor drive. It's a four-motor it's a four-motor four motor drone, a four-motor flight. Um, That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's Vex legal, but but that, that that's, that's pretty cool. Early season scoring, I hate people who just who just post a video of, of scoring and not the robot. That's, that's so lame. Just, just post the robot, please. This one's getting an F tier. I'm just kidding. It's not bad. It's an A tier. All right. This is auto sorting. What do you guys think? Red goes up. Blue goes down. We didn't have parts to build the drivetrain when we recorded this. I do think auto sorting is going to be really important this year as well, especially with how many balls blocks are on the field. You kind of just want to make sure that you're kind of getting the ones uh, yours, right? Because I think we watched what, one of the videos before and one of the matches, and we realized that some t a lot of teams are having trouble kind of like – accidentally scoring your opponents which is not as bad as last season and i say last season if you accidentally scored at your opponents you might might just lose the match altogether but this year it's not as as of a deficit so but still i think i think with the amount of blocks there are i think you i think you need it anyways uh i think this design is good it kind of just failed because your top isn't fully covered I, I don't know if you can i mean if you, if you can definitely cover this with mesh just put mesh right here and you're chilling and your the the red ones will go over, but this is works works pretty well actually. I'm gonna give this a, a an A tier. I think there's some slight improvements you can make. All right, we got a ChatGPT bot. Let's let's write this ChatGPT bot. Create a diagram of the best scoring robot with labels to clear picture. Then <laughs> then S Y B A U guys. I don't know what that means. Can you please explain that in the comments? Uh, what S Y B A U means? That's a that's an interesting word here. Um, never heard of that one polycarbonate panels okay long hood okay like they added okay you know what hood means chain conveyor elevator wide intake roller polycarbonate wings 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 for what six motor tank drive four motor or four inch traction wheel okay uh wide intake roller v5 brain where's the brain the brain's just, the brain's on the wheel. The brain is the wheel, I guess. Um, wow. To be honest, it's pretty smart. I, I think that, that that that's actually surprisingly surprisingly good. I think I'm gonna give this one an S tier. ChatGPT is an S tier. All right. Um, 
we won't rate the ones who are in YouTube videos, unfortunately, right now. Right now. Uh, and this is the last one. Unless we want to read that's the last, the last one. First ever Fullbot CAD. Who loves my vice? Okay. I like the like the license plates, or at least just the team decals. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, over, I mean, looks pretty nice. It looks like pretty standard uh, change up style intake with a basket in the back. Really, not really that much advice for this. To be honest, it looks like you're doing the the same thing on the top here with the hoarding basket at the top where you're gonna switch directions and then it even looks like you're doing the same thing where it's gonna come back out it looks like you have a you have a 5.5 right here so it looks like it looks like the ball's gonna come back out so really nice design honestly i like this one it's getting a getting an s tier and that's that's all we have for today thank you